CSIS says China's communist regime uses spies to intimidate and threaten Chinese Canadians to suppress dissent on Canadian soil. China's Operation Fox Hunt is an attack on Canadian sovereignty and national security. The Prime Minister says he's, quote, long been concerned and that he brings it up when he engages with China. The victims of these bullies sounded the alarm and they have the courage to stand up. So, specifically, what is this government actually doing to protect them? Our government has been and will continue to take action to protect Canadians, their personal information and their interests from any threat or intimidation from foreign interference or espionage, including threats to our economy, intellectual property, critical supply chains and communities. And Mr. Speaker, as the NSI COP report released earlier this year makes very clear, we recognize the hostile activities of state actors such as China as a key and growing risk in this regard. Mr. Speaker, we remain constantly vigilant against these risks. Beyond so-called recognition and all these words, what is the actual action? Almost 80% of Canadians Canadians believe China constitutes a threat to Canada. Recently, the Chinese ambassador threatened Canadians in Hong Kong. Canadian citizens are in arbitrary imprisonment and Canadian lives are at risk in China. The Liberals' failure to stand up for human rights and to protect Canadians all over the world is emboldening these state-sponsored bullies. How can Canadians feel safe anywhere when the Liberals clearly don't have their backs? That we do not in any way tolerate foreign actors hostile state actors threatening Canada's national security or the safety of any of our citizens. And I want to assure this House and all Canadians that our security agencies and law enforcement agencies have the skills and resources and the legal authority that they need to detect, investigate and respond to every such threat.